I can't tell you what it really is I can only tell you what it feels like And right now it's a still night In my windpipe I can't breathe but I still fight Hey guys, Shall let's be to continue our adventure last time We got the some of the ingredients to make Um, well we got the Manatized hydraulics for this guy, Liberty Prime. So now we are heading to an area where we need to find something like that. But yeah. Oh, and you guys don't know who I am. My name is Shan Larson, aka Shan Let's Plays. I just got this new computer, so one computer will be for my writing. I do books, seriously. Go check them out. I'll leave them in the description below if you guys know what I'm talking about. Some of my subscribers have known me for, for a month now, but yeah, the server sub is not very good because I have 60 subscribers. And I don't know why they don't watch my videos. But yeah. But now, since I'm over here, I'm gonna to do this. It's good to see you again, Knight. You've come a long way since you stumbled in the Cambridge Police Station. Thanks, Halen. I assume the place is still in one piece. We're doing the best that we can. We've had the occasional synth attack, but so far we've been able to keep them from overrunning us. Thanks to the reinforcements and the air support, I'd say that site was secure. But yeah, I forgot to turn this down a little bit. There we go. That's not surprising. After all, it's in good hands. I appreciate that. Anyway, I know you don't have time for small talk, so I'll get right to it. I've had the men set up the equipment we'll need to pinpoint you once you've found the bombs. Mm -hmm. We've rigged up this distress pulser to emit a unique tone that we'll be listening for. When you find the bombs, plant the pulser, and we'll handle the rest. After that, you should probably head back to Proctor Ingram and bring her your report. Doesn't sound too difficult. Ah, oh, no. Not at all. You're only heading back into the most inhospitable place in the entire Commonwealth. Look, I know you've been through the glowing sea before, but remember to keep an eye on your Geiger counter. If you don't, the radiation will cook you from the inside out. Good luck, Knight. Yeah. Radiation will do that just fine. Nothing to report right now, Knight. Good thing I'm not bringing my dog, because our dog it will be fried out here if it for me. But yeah. demo I for suggest you watch it because it's really good I did want to do a live stream on it but my computer is like shit well crap to me at least but um yeah oh crap because these guys can follow me Doing. I'm trying to hunt for the bombs, I believe. These bombs are over here somewhere. In between these buildings. But also, so are the ghouls. You know, those radiated people. Gotta be really quick on my feet. Because you don't know when they're gonna pop up. 
like that, see? Vegas on computer I'll let you play your head as well. Whoa! Three of them? Really? On the computer, so you guys will, you guys want to see that. I think I'm gonna get really good. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty hard because one of my friends, um, plus you saw the, the one video I saw about my grandma, yeah, she passed away a couple weeks ago from a coma, I know, it's hard, but I think she's in a better place, you know. Oh, hell no! Oh, Jesus, that scared me. He was jumping right at me when I started running. Whew. Thank goodness I stopped right there. Otherwise, I would have been a cooked version of a human. Whoa! I did want to play Fallout 76, but look what that got there. Look what happened to that, you know? But, um... I did like it, it's just that you couldn't pause it when you were, like, in one of your things. You know what I mean? I mean, literally, you couldn't even do anything. But, yeah. Right now, I have mods with up this thing guy, this guy. So, um, I'll do also do the male version too. The same characters are good for the male and female, so, um, yeah. Uh, right here. It's a very good thing there's a. I'm gonna check that building out because I think there's ghouls around here I can take care of. Here and there, you know. They're called large nukes, or what is it that lady said? Huh. I don't remember what the lady said about the version of this, so. Oh. I'm also eating pretzels with the Tostito. With the Tostito, um. Version of cheese sauce with spices in it. it tastes just like a pretzel. I can't believe it tastes like a pretzel. Oh well. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I think I should change my my gun because I do want to have an assault rifle. Nope. That's a sniper. Where is a machine gun that will not use too much? Hmm. Let's see. Um the suppressed PPK pistol is not very good. Um. Ooh. Good. This is part one. Better than the other one I had. I think. But yeah. 
Yeah, there's a lot of ghouls down here, so I ought to be careful. No oh well. I mean, but yeah, um, a lot of ghouls running around here too. I just realized. Well, hi, sport. Yeah, I just got a new kitty. If you haven't seen that video, oh. are you talking? Come here. Come here. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, we just got a new kitty. His name is Milo after, you know, Milo and Otis. It's just the adorable little thing. Ah! Oh, that was one thing that hurt me. Boy. I think there's gonna be a swarm of enemies. I know this for a fact. Cause every time I... Yeah, but I gotta hold these guys up over here. Oh, this guy. There we go. So now, got that over with. I was wondering what heck I was going. Let's see. Yeah, it was probably one of those mole rats that was, that was doing that to me. Just need to get the heck out of here. 
I do remember how to go through this because when I was joining the Brotherhood of Steel, I used to do this a lot. When it was in the male version between, like, like for me it was because I had my ex-boyfriend was the one that did this, and it wasn't the, it, it's not gonna be the same without him. It's just that he was, you know, he was being a jerk. But he's the one that got me into this game. Jesus. That did you listen? Jeez. But yeah, he got me into this and I like it. It's just that, um, it's just that he was such a jerk to my family. I was like, you know what? We're through. Well, he wasn't such a jerk to me or my family, but he backstabbed me. He said he was gonna be with me forever. And then he come and then he goes around like hurting women. Like, what kind of boyfriend is that if people are really nice and they're not nice back? on my list to do when I get this all over with the female and the male version of of this game so technically I would do male and female version and then I would do the blue rescue team finish that probably in like I'll probably make an hour long gameplay of that but um yeah that's probably gonna be it for that one and then when um, the other game comes out, when the other game comes out, it'll be much easier. State your purpose, stranger. You walk on Atom's hallowed ground. I'm looking for some bombs. Nuclear bombs. The children of Atom have sworn to guard this place until the time of the Great Divide. None shall enter. Trust me, I'm on your side here. I want to help you out. Atom has no need of help from non-believers. When he returns to us, these relics will carry his word and his glory to all corners of the Earth. That is why they must be safeguarded. I want to spread his, uh... his glory. Look. The bombs will get used, okay? Isn't that what you want? Perhaps then I have misjudged you. If you would see these relics used, then Atom's will is done. Take this and prepare to enter his inner sanctum. Follow the brilliance of the glow, and it shall lead you to the relics. May Atom's radiance warm your soul. This guy is kind of cuckoo. This guy, too. Oi, oi, oi. I wonder if you can sneak and steal some like pit pocket like they do in Skyrim. But that's totally different. Wait, I'm so oh okay. That's that. Looks like I have to use the personal here. There. Oh. Okay. Let's go do this and possibly get done for the night because I need my mama. She needs to sleep. I got school tomorrow. Well, I don't go to school school. I'm not in high school anymore, but still. But yeah, um Zit. How do I get out of here? Oh, gotta go the other way. Ay -ay -ay. So 
Well, I'm guessing we're not supposed to go through here, but I guess I could try to go through here and these bombs or something like that. So that's it. So I'm guessing this whole area, I don't know if it has all these ghouls or anything like that, but uh, I'm sorry if I get too quiet, guys. Sometimes I really like to concentrate on my games, you know? Because sometimes when I listen to somebody like YouTubers that I listen to and play my games at the same time, like, I can focus on the game itself. I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I can think about, <laughs> you know? Oh, hello. Oh. Didn't want to get crushed by that guy. Okay. So. Oh, okay, okay. Thought that was that. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. There. Keep this guy out. Nine millimeter pistols. Ammo. Yeah, so I don't get radiation points off of me because I have all the characters here. But yeah. And if you made it this far, guys, I want you to type in the glowing one, you know, to tell me that you went, went, went all the way this far. But, uh, yeah. Gotta go take this back. And I changed the font to this game for purple, you know. Just, uh, yeah, I'll just have some, uh, you know. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? <gasps> Those are blood bugs. Oh my god. Whoa, hello. Rotten ghouls. I think they're supposed to be like really, really bad. Like they're almost dead. But uh, let's get back to the base. Whoa, what are you doing? Hello. Okay, the airport. Let's go. There we go. So yeah, um, this next episode's gonna be pretty sweet and pretty quick. Because, you know, it's going to be pretty cool. But yeah, I'll probably wait. And, like, if I do the male version and it's still stuck at that, I will do, like, like the, the release date on Pokemon uh, Super Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX starts at, what, May 16th? May 6th? It's a couple weeks away. But, uh, yeah, I'll do the, I'll do the female version, play that through, and then play... Mystery Dungeon DX and also Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team at the same time. So, yeah. I'm gonna be Mine and the radiation stuff. It followed me! It followed me! But yeah. Um, there she is. Proctor Ingram. Looks like the Mark 28s are gonna do the trick. That was a good find. I'll work with your team to ensure that Prime's bombs remain stable after they're loaded into his pack. It won't be too much harder. Well, Dr. Lee, I have to admit, we couldn't have done this without you. It's a little early to begin celebrating, Proctor Ingram. We haven't fully thrown the switch on Liberty Prime, and I'm just oh, hoping yeah, all the work Dr. I've Lee. done to keep the system stable are gonna hold. I have full confidence in everyone's abilities here. I appreciate that. Proctor, all the readouts look green. I think it's time for you to perform the power shunt. Actually, I think I'm gonna let you press the button. After all, without your help, we'd still be staring at a pile of disassembled parts. It would be better if a trained technician performed that task, but I suppose you deserve to be the one to do it. 
Look at that. He's all back to normal, guys. Let's do it. Liberty Prime, back online. Yep. All right. Let's run a basic diagnostic on him. Diagnostic command accepted. Give him a moment. He needs to adjust to his new configuration. Voice module online. Audio functionality test initialized. Designation Liberty Prime. Mark II. Mission. The liberation of Anchorage, Alaska. Primary targets. Any and all red Chinese invaders. Let me run a system analysis of the battle readiness check. Liberty Prime. Full system analysis. All systems. Nominal. Weapons. Hot. Warning. Nuclear weapon payload depleted. Reload required. Warning. Power core offline. Running on external power only. Core restart recommended. Ability to repel red Chinese invaders. Compromised. Got green lights across the board here. He's looking good from where I'm sitting. Doctor, if you wouldn't mind keeping an eye on the big guy here, I'd appreciate it. Well, I have to admit, I wasn't sure we'd be able to pull it off, but Liberty Prime's looking pretty good. With him on our side? I don't see how the Institute even stands a chance. I couldn't agree with you more. Before you head off to your next assignment, I have something for you. I came up with this little beauty myself. I think it'll add a bit more punch to your power armor. You didn't have to do that, Ingram. Oh, come on. You earned the damn thing. Besides, Liberty Prime isn't about to run out and get you a gift. Anyway, that's enough of that. You better hightail it up to the Pridwin. Elder Maxson said he needed to speak to you as soon as you were done here. And thank you, Knight. Without you, none of this would have been possible. Huh. Neat. was really reliable but uh yeah but yeah that's what he does is there anything you wish to tell me knight not at all i have nothing to hide i find that very hard to believe Proctor Quinlan completed the decryption of the data you retrieved from the Institute. A portion of his findings included a list of synths that went missing or escaped from their underground facility. After careful analysis of the information, we've discovered something. Unprecedented. Paladin Dance is a perfect match for one of the synths on that list. That's impossible. I'm afraid not. The evidence is quite damning. The data you brought back included a record of each subject's DNA. We keep the same information on file for all of our soldiers. Paladin Dance's DNA is a perfect match for a synth they called M797. To make matters worse, he's gone AWOL, disappeared without a trace. His sudden absence simply reinforces our conclusion that M797 and Paladin Dance are one and the same. I'm finding it difficult to believe that he never confided in you and then swore you to secrecy. You have to believe me. He... He never told me he was a synth. <laughs> Apparently, I've misjudged you. Which yeah. means I've decided to take you away. <laughs> However, that doesn't absolve you of your duty. Dance is a synth. He represents everything we hate. A monstrosity of technology. Our mission in the Commonwealth is clear. 
the oh, Institute and its creations need to be destroyed in order to preserve our future. Which leaves me facing the most difficult order I've ever given. I'm ordering you to hunt down Dance and execute him. There must be some other way. Absolutely not. My decision is final. Listen, I'm not blind to the fact that Dance was your mentor, and this isn't an easy burden to bear. But if we're to remain strong, we can't afford to make exceptions. Even when it means executing one of our own. Find Proctor Quinlan. He's been analyzing the data and should be able to provide you with a starting point. And Knight, there's a promotion for you riding on the results of these orders. So don't disappoint me. You're dismissed. Yes, sir. I feel so bad. Pound and Dance did nothing wrong. I mean, I mean, he he technically was created by the by the Institute as a synth, but I feel so bad. He was a really nice dude. Crane, attention, Ferrum Squad, report to debriefing. Ferrum Squad to the debriefing. Oh, Knight, I was told you were coming. Sorry about this business with Dance. He'll be missed. Doubtful. I wouldn't miss a synth any sooner than I'd miss a transistor radio. I was merely sorry that you'd been duped. No matter. I've been poring over Dance's duty reports, and unfortunately, I haven't found any concrete information. As you're well aware, Dance had intimate knowledge of the Commonwealth, and I'm afraid he could be seeking refuge anywhere. I think our best approach would be to identify every location he's ever visited and eliminate them as possibilities one by one. You may want to get comfortable. This could take quite a bit of... What the hell is this crap about Dance being a synth? I assume your outburst was a reference to some doubt regarding Dance's identity. I can assure you that my findings are quite accurate, Scribe. So he sets Dance up, and then you knock him down. Is that it? Orders are orders. Orders are orders? That's all you have to say? I can't believe that after everything Paladin Dance did for you, you're just gonna turn your back on him like this. There's obviously been a mistake, and we need to get to the bottom of it. Scribe Halen! You're addressing a senior officer, and you will show her the respect that she's due. Or so help me, I'll have you brought up on charges. Now, unless you're here with information that can assist us, I suggest you return to the police station immediately. Of course. My apologies, Proctor. I believe I have some information that's relevant to the search. Very well, then. Would you care to enlighten us? Or do we have to wait until you decide to grace us with your knowledge? Knight, if you'd accompany me to the flight deck, I'd like to show you the information I've compiled firsthand. I've stored the data on my Vertiberg gunship's computer. I'll take anything that gets me closer to finding Dance. Yes, ma'am. Proceed, Knight. I'll continue doing my research here. If you'll follow me, ma'am. Come on. Is that well, the same? Yeah, it's the same thing. One of his their friends are since so bad. Scry Halen. Do you actually plan on killing Paladin Dance? That's a risky question, Halen. I know it is, but I need you to listen to me for a minute. I've known Paladin Dance ever since I was an initiate. He trained me, showed me the ropes, and when I screwed up, he taught me to dust myself off and move on. He's earned my admiration, my respect, and my friendship. I don't care what Quinlan's report says. I don't care if he's a machine or not. He still dance. The 
That's a bold statement. It's more than just a statement. It's a plea. Dance is the most selfless person I've ever met. I've watched him risk his own life based on nothing more than principle alone. That's why I'm asking you, not just as a member of the Brotherhood, but as a human being. Give him a chance. Let him tell his side of the story. If you're not convinced by what he says, or somehow he's become truly lost to us, then you do what you have to do. I'll hear all right, him. I'll hear him out. That's all that I ask. I'll just have to trust that when the time comes, you'll do the right thing. Before the Pribwin showed up, Dance had me identify a fallback point if we ever lost the police station. It was Listening Post Bravo, an old pre-war U.S. military outpost on the northern frontier of the Commonwealth. It's isolated, and we're the only ones that knew about it. So, there's a good chance that's where he's headed. Just be careful. There's no telling what state of mind he's in right now, or if he trusts any of us at all. All right. So let's get off this Pridwin and then head to the next area. But that will be in another episode tonight. Is a really not 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 really good night. But uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys will understand sometime that uh. I got myself into the good things. I got two computers. I got one for writing and one for um, one for this recording, of course. So uh, yeah, purple mist and purple everything. So uh, I want to get out of here. Salisbury steak is mine. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and it was a complete shocker that Paladin Nance was a synth. But uh, anyway. I hope you guys see you all later in the next episode, and I hope you enjoyed. So thank you very much for watching, and peace out.